guys can we now discuss the various meetings various events within the sprint now in every sprint there are four events in every sprint there are four events or four ceremonies sprint planning daily stand up meetings sprint review and retrospection now let's go through them one by one let's start with sprint planning meetings right now in the sprint planning meeting we create two important uh, two important deliverables one is sprint goal right and the another important deliverable is a sprint backlog right which is which is a plan to deliver the sprint goal now the sprint planning meeting is a time box meeting the time box is generally 8 hours for a monthly sprint four week sprint and as the time box of the sprint decreases we decrease the duration of the sprint planning meeting as well right for example for two week sprints it can be 2 hours right now what happens in the sprint planning meeting initially the product owner right shares as the sprint goal with the development team now sprint goal is a working functionality that is to be delivered within a sprint right and this goal should be in alignment with the overall product or project goal now after the the product owner and the team have agreement about the sprint goal the product owner leaves the team the development team creates a sprint plan which is required to achieve the sprint goal right this plan is called as sprint backlog right the sprint backlog is a development team's plan to achieve the sprint goal now once the plan is ready the team starts executing the plan they start creating the deliverables corresponding to the the plan now the second important meeting that happens every day is daily stand up meeting the purpose of this daily stand up meeting is to assess right the progress of the team towards the sprint goal and adapt if required right now it see, see this daily stand up meeting is time box to 15 minutes it's a 15 minutes meeting right time box to 15 minutes in which the team meets at same location at same time to discuss three important questions right in this 15 minutes meeting team discuss what did we accomplish yesterday and how did it help us to to progress towards the sprint goal what we are planning to complete today and how it is going to help us to accomplish the sprint goal and what are my risks issues and blockers that will prevent me from achieving the sprint goal right so it is 15 minutes meeting right this meeting is meant for developers right developers all the developers must attend this meeting right scrum masters or product owners may participate occasionally if required right but it is a mandatory meeting for developers only right now the third meeting is a sprint review meeting right now sprint review is a very very important event right now in the sprint review the team gives demonstration of the working functionality that is created right uh, to all the stakeholders such as scrum team right uh, 
the stakeholders such as business people, sponsors, end users, right? In this meeting, they inspect the outcome of the sprint and and you know and provide their feedback, right? The purpose of this demo is to inspect the outcome of the sprint, right? Now this sprint review meeting is time boxed to uh, four hours for a four week or monthly sprint, and the the size of the meeting, the duration of the meeting is reduced for uh, if the if the size of the sprint decreases. For example, for for a two week sprint. Uh, the duration of the sprint review meeting uh, can be two hours, right? Now, in this meeting, the development team demonstrate the working functionality, which is reviewed by customers, end users, right? And all the relevant people. Now, after the demonstration, the working functionality or the potentially shippable product is accepted or rejected based on the definition of done, right? Now, definition of done is a checklist like this, right? I'll show you a sample checklist that represents definition of done, right? This may be slightly more than the acceptance criteria. Let me show you the def a sample definition of done, guys. Right? This is a sample definition of done. It's a checklist like this right it includes acceptance criteria right right as a as a as an item but apart from acceptance criteria it can have other items also like you know whether design document has been completed or not whether uh, you know the end user has been end user documentation has been updated or not or all the type of tests have been conducted like unit testing integration testing platform and so on so forth right now the product is accepted by the product owner, right? If it fulfills the definition of done. So all, you know, all the items, right? Of the definition of done must be completed, right? Before the deliverable is accepted, right? Now see, I have shown you a definition of done, which includes all these checklist items. This is not a standard one, right? For example, you can start with a, very uh, simple and easy definition of done, right? Now, as you move forward, as team improves, right, in terms of competency, in terms of, of efficiency and effectiveness, you can improve this definition of done. Right? Now, let's go back to the uh, to the next event. So, this is what we do in sprint review, right? Uh, you know, uh, it's a good opportunity for the team to inspect and adapt, right? Now, after sprint review, the fourth event, it, event is retrospective. Now, retrospective is a place where you learn, right? For example, in retrospective, you analyze what went well, what went wrong, right? Based on your, uh, based on your experience of the sprint, what should you do more? What should you do less? How can you improve, uh, you know, going further? And, you know, do you need to, refine your definition of done, done further, right? So it is a time, it is a time box meeting, time box to three hours, right? Uh, for a monthly sprint, right? For example, if the sprint is two, uh, two weeks, it can be time box to uh, accordingly. For example, it can be uh, time box to 90 minutes, right? Uh, one and a half hour for a two week sprint. So this is in brief about all the events that take, takes place within a sprint if you have any questions please ask me now if you're if you don't have any doubts can we practice some questions on scrum framework so that we can uh, validate our understanding on scrum guys